So uh, I about 50 miles north of Inverness. Uh, I'm from this from this wee wee town or uh, or well village. It's just a pair of fucking roads to be honest. But I anyway, uh, it's a it's a nice wee place. Um, it's called Edrin, uh, as you can tell uh, by this sign. And uh, it's it's actually a very uh, special place to me, uh, something really close to my heart because it's actually where I spent uh, it's where I spent my childhood uh, growing up. That's me there. Um, yeah, those were uh, bleak days actually. Um, anyway, I, th I thought I'd make a, a, a quick wee video uh, for the tourists just so they they know to stay away um, because there's not much reason. In fact, I'm gonna sum up. All the things to do in Edrin in this six minute video, so if you're ready, let's get going. So right now this is actually the uh, the view from my front garden, uh, and as, as, as you can see there, the, those fields actually used to be uh, homes to three big beautiful black horses, and, uh, and it was really great uh, growing up because my mum would always give me and my brother carrots and, and we'd feed them uh, and such. Um, they're dead now. Uh, so so we don't really do that anymore. Good thing about dead horses or you know the horse being dead is that um, there's brambles there now uh, that, that the horses don't eat um, so it's really great to you know sometimes you can sneak on in uh, to the horse's uh, old house and, uh, and get yourself a, a wee bramble uh, but be warned they're shit. Aye so uh, this is what remains of the park um, I suppose it's quite a good thing that kids are addicted to phones nowadays because by Christ is this depressing. This actually used to be covered in, in, in bark but I'm, I'm assuming that the last guy that gave a shit uh, died or something. Anyway, beside the park we have this this wee area here and this is actually where we uh, we used to build dens. Uh, it, was, it was actually a pretty decent spot to, to make a nice little setup. Uh, but, uh, oh, watch out, uh, sharp there. Um, but no, it was great because you, you know you'd steal you'd steal your mum's fags with your mates and and you'd smoke them. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, there wasn't any other children in in Edrin, so. But no, it was good. Um, now, seeing that there's uh, no life in Edrin, speaking both metaphorically and literally, uh, when you do stumble across someone else, and uh, then it's always a rare treat. Uh, the village consists of about six percent dog and forty percent elderly, and. Uh, you know, due to the serene backdrop that surrounds this beautiful, beautiful pocket of earth, uh, Edrin is certainly blessed with some of the kindest and calmest people and animals, uh, so I would definitely recommend it for the wildlife. The history portion of this episode now. Uh, so, so this stone dates back to about uh, roughly 600 uh, AD, um, so it's, you know, it's pretty old, it's almost as old as uh, your mum. Um, but no, it's it's pretty cool. It's got a, a salmon drawn on it and a, and a circle. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, unfortunately, my, my time with the stone was cut short because uh, the locals were, were pestering me. Because um, I jumped the fence. I thought, oh wow, uh, and I got out of there. Uh, I've, I've, got a, I've got a picture of, of the carvings here. Uh, to me, it kind of looks like a salmon with some kind of uh, old-timey yo-yo uh, now. I don't know if it's the old gods or if it's uh, aliens, but to me it looks a bit uh, looks a bit fishy. <laughs> Listen, if there's anyone out there, you've got to get me out of this village. I can't take it anymore. Coming up now, we've got Bal Blair Distillery. Now this is actually the the number one uh, rated thing to do in Edrin, uh out of two. Uh, but you know, save the best till last. Um, so here it is here. Uh, this is as close as I got. Um, this is partly due to uh, to the rain um, and and other things. You know what? I, I'd, it's my video, so I'd rather not get into it. Just gonna quickly run through all the landmarks I missed. Uh, first of all, you've got the the war memorial. Great for uh, respecting those that uh, gave their lives for this country and littering. Um, you've got the the mold hut. Sorry, the the heather hut. Uh, beside that, you've got an abandoned uh, bus station with abandoned payphone uh, that was meant to be removed two years ago. Uh, but it's cool, it's kind of like a, a nice wee artifact uh, of, of the old days. So, in summary, why should you come to Edrin? Well, there's only two roads, uh, so you don't ever have to worry about getting lost. <laughs> Can't say the same for your mind. Uh, the views are genuinely uh, quite beautiful, um, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, nature is blossoming. 
so you can just pick stuff off the trees in the air and of course the locals can be uh, super nice and welcoming. Why shouldn't you come to Edirin? <sighs> Complete isolation, severe boredom, the fruit isn't really that good, some of the locals can be arseholes, there's no pub, there's no shop, there is no happiness, there is only sadness, there is a community centre, however, it lacks a community. Everyone you bond with here dies in a few years, the school is up a very large hill, the horses are dead, the park is a visual representation of humanity giving up, and, if I'm honest, the Pictish stone is pretty shit. In fact, I picked this stone huh? as my least favourite stone. You see what I did there, that's good, huh? So that's about it, uh, don't come here, bye!